sinful and die outside of God's grace, offending Him, we will be lost. And I think that was the reason why God allowed the little children to seek help. According to Lucia's account, the frightening images of hell revealed to the children are remarkably similar to the description of hell in the Bible's contentious book of Revelation. The abominable and murderers, whoremongers and sorcerers, shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. The book of Revelation ends with those who have sinned burning in just such a hell, exactly secret of Fatima portends. Or could the first secret have been a prophecy about World War I, a war that raged at the same time the prophecy was allegedly revealed to the children in 1917? It's possible that these prophecies could have something to do with the carnage that was going on in World War I, where you had battles uh, like Verdun or the Somme, where you had huge artillery shells, gas killing thousands of people. According to Lucia, Mary said this current war will end. But another war, one far more heinous, will come if her warning against atheism is not heeded. How might the prophecy of this next great war be connected to the even deadlier Third Secret? Many devout Catholics believe that in 1917, an apparition of the Virgin Mary bestowed upon three Portuguese children the so-called Three Secrets of Fatima. These prophecies are said to warn humanity of a terrifying end to the world if people do not return to a path of righteousness. But is there any truth to this story? A closer examination may shed light on a possible connection between these secrets and today's unrest. Some propose there is a direct correlation between Mary's prophecy of doom and the current conflict between the world's two largest religions. Might the so-called prophecies of Fatima eventually hold the key to relieving today's worldwide turbulence? And can this be a progression of events that began during the first half of the 20th century? Only the sole surviving witness to the apparition of Mary would have the answers. 24 years after claiming to be visited by the holy apparition, Lucia Santos, living as a nun in Tui, Spain, decided the world was finally ready to hear the first two of the three secrets of Fatima. The third, and most frightening of the prophecies, would remain hidden for another 60 years. In 1941, she began to write her memoirs. And this is where she revealed everything that had happened. First was a gruesome vision of souls burning in hell, which some interpret as a message about the horrors of World War I. is going to end very soon, but if people do not cease offending God, a worse war will break out during the pontificate of Pius XI. To some, the convergence of this secret with actual world events is very real. World War I did end the year after Mary's supposed appearance in Fatima. Also at that time in 1917, a Pope Pius XI did not exist. Only time would tell if this prediction would come true. The Pope at the time of the, of the vision was Benedict XV. So Our Lady even named the Pope, Pope Pius XI. But there was more intrigue behind the prophecy. Lucia recalled that Mary's dark divination warned of a mysterious omen that would signal the beginning of a next great war. When you see a night illuminated by an unknown light, know that this is the great sign given you by God, that he is about to punish the world for its crimes. January 25th, 1938, two months after Adolf Hitler held a secret conference to reveal his war plans to his closest advisors, an ominous series of light patterns illuminated the night sky over the whole of Europe. Was this the foreboding sign described in the second secret? 
or a cosmic coincidence. This spectacular aurora borealis was seen throughout Europe, so much so that people in Switzerland could read their newspapers at 11 p.m. at night. And this was the sign that God is about to punish the world. But the cause of this natural phenomenon is clearly rooted in science. It doesn't happen all the time that you get the aurora borealis being seen at those southerly latitudes. But in 1938, they were at solar maximum. And at solar maximum, you get these solar storms, strong magnetic field patterns on the sun that interacts with the Earth's magnetic field and causes bright auroral displays. Some believe the light display in 1938 appears to lend some credence to the myth. It was 47 days after that that Hitler invaded Austria. Now people said that happened in 1938, but the World War didn't begin until 1939. But actually, historians say the war began when Hitler moved his soldiers into Austria. And so it happened during the time pontificate of Pope Pius XI. The second secret culminated with yet another warning. This one, about the political and economic phenomenon that was sweeping the world during this time. Communism, and its perpetrator, Russia. According to Lucia, Mary had said, I shall come to ask for the consecration of Russia to my Immaculate Heart. If my requests are heeded, Russia will be converted, and there will be peace. If not, she will spread her errors throughout the world, causing wars. Various nations will be annihilated. A consecration is an entrustment of something to God. A country or a person or something placed under the protection of God or the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our Lady warned that in Russia an evil would begin, which was communism, which would spread its errors around the world. It's through communism that, you know, we got godless government because they were atheistic. In 1917, revolutions swept through Russia, ousting the Tsarist family and soon after creating a communist dictatorship, the Soviet Union. Rivals for power were soon eliminated, including religious leaders. They destroyed the churches, they destroyed the religious articles, they murdered thousands of civilians and said, it is the power and authority of government now that will exceed God in your lives. People in the Soviet Union actually thought it was the end times and they thought that Lenin was the Antichrist because he told them there's no God, it's just the state and here's Lenin and he's going to give you everything you need. He's almost like a new God. According to the story, these violations against Christianity prompted yet another holy apparition. On June 13, 1929, Our Lady appeared to Sister Lucia, and she said, The moment has come in which God asked the Holy Father in union with all the bishops throughout the whole world to consecrate Russia, and a certain period of peace will be granted to mankind. With humanity's fate possibly hanging in the balance, Lucia relayed her urgent message to the current Pope named Pius XI, as was predicted. But the Pope decided not to carry out the order. For some reason, the Pope believed in them, but he didn't act on that consecration. And some feel, in fact, even Sister Lucia did mention this, that that delay allowed the evils of communism to spread. Most historians would disagree, instead blaming the spread of communism on the growing strength of the Soviet Union. By 1941, World War II raged throughout Europe. Millions were suffering under the growing terror of the Soviet Union's oppressive communist system. Millions more were dying on battlefields and in labor camps. In an attempt to stop the devastation, the next pope, Pius XII, proceeded with the consecration of Russia. Pope Pius XII did make a first consecration uh, of Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. But uh, as Lucia then said, it was not done according to what Our Lady had requested because it was made by the Pope himself, not in union with all the bishops around the world. Mary's order still unfulfilled. Two more attempts at consecration were made in 